Judith Tebat is finally free after spending over half a year in captivity in the hands of an armed gang that had in September last year attacked the Kiwai Safari village near Lamu where she was staying, killing a 58-year-old husband, David Tebat, and forcefully taking her to Somalia on a speedboat. In a television interview moments after her release, the 56-year-old social worker who has hearing difficulties said she was relieved to be finally free and looked forward to meeting her son, Oliver. She said the death of her husband had made the ordeal much harder. The kidnapping of the woman in September last year and subsequent abductions of other tourists along the Kenyan coast prompted the Kenyan government to send troops into Somalia in October last year to not only pursue the abductors but also help stabilize the border region. Operation Lindenchi has been on since then and the Kenyan government believes that security along the Kenyan coast had since then improved tremendously. Two Kenyan ministers now want the British government to review travel advisories cautioning against visits to parts of the Kenyan coast by British nationals. I want to appeal that because now the, the tourists have been uh, rescued, I think the British High Commission should lift the travel ban on Lamu. And on the same day that Judith Tebet was released, a Kenyan appeared in a Lamu court charged with the kidnapping and robbery with violence that resulted in the death of David Tebet. 25-year-old Ali Babitu Kololo, who was a night watchman at the Kiwai Safari Club when the Tebats were attacked and Judith abducted, however, say the prosecution had failed to make available witness statements to him, despite making several applications to access the documents and enable him to prepare for his defence. He also lamented that he did not have a lawyer. But the prosecution, led by Caleb Mutonyu, was against the adjournment. However, the magistrate Johnston Munguti asked the prosecution to avail all necessary documents to the accused before the end of the day and further directed that all 25 witnesses should be availed in court during the hearing. Issa Sheikh Saadi, who had been charged alongside Kilolo, had his case withdrawn due to lack of evidence. The trial was adjourned to 25th April to May 2nd. The release of Judith Tebet has been warmly received worldwide, but it has also shone the spotlight on the lawlessness in Somalia, where about 230 people are still being held hostage. Abde Osman, Citizen Live at Nine.